Hello, beautiful souls. And I see that's why the two of you might take breaks away from this connection, or take time where you're almost taking a deep breath apart from each other physically, either geographically or by setting boundaries communication-wise physically. And again, this won't be the case for everyone, so take it as it resonates. And it feels like in the meantime, perhaps during one of those periods of pause in that connection, this other energy comes in just as this warmth and support. I don't really feel triggering from this person, except for some divine feminines. They may be triggering your feeling of, do I deserve this? Almost like a guilt. Can I allow myself to be fully loved and supported in the physical world? Am I allowed to move towards this? Am I allowed to just be held, to just be softer and easier, to be loved, to laugh? And I'm hearing your guide saying that connecting with this person's higher self from within energetically is actually a really powerful way to assist this person's healing process. Because it's almost like there's been this fragmentation that's happened to this person physically, a kind of soul fragmentation of sorts. This is a really strange message coming through. But I feel as though this masculine has gone through either some kind of intense hardship or trauma in this life that may have fragmented his soul. Meaning, of course, his higher self, his true self, is still very much intact and very much aligned with you. But it's almost as though, in the physical, he's lost touch with many aspects of that higher self because of this fragmentation that may have occurred through a traumatic event. It may have happened through challenging circumstances of his life that caused him to close off his heart. I'm seeing most of this fragmentation of the soul for the masculine here has occurred through the heart space, causing him to shut down his heart in certain aspects. And again, that is why the most powerful way you could facilitate this masculine's healing and defragmentation process is actually any time you are missing or longing for a deeper connection with him, instead of seeking it externally, to establish that connection to his higher self, his true self from within energetically. And that will actually hold the space here to magnetize him into this higher version of himself. I'm hearing that prioritizing your peace, divine feminine, is extremely important at this time, remaining grounded in the heart, but also in the throat chakra. I feel like humor and laughter are a big aspect of this connection as well. And I'm hearing your spirit guides say, not only are you allowed to move towards this if you desire to do so, but also it's highly energizing and empowering to your soul. And in that sense, it helps you to align more with your soul's mission, because you're feeling loved, you're feeling supported. I'm hearing that quote about how you glow differently when you're supported. From Divine Muscular. Type yes, if you believe. 